have you ever had a conversation with somebody that they just are not getting you? And what we usually tend to do is we tend to talk louder, we tend to talk faster, we tend to use our physiology more, and they're just not understanding. And you're like, what in the world is happening? Why isn't this person understanding me? Well, I'm gonna show you and tell you why people are not understanding you or that person hasn't understand you. For leaders out there, if you own your own business or if you're in leadership or in management, this question is going to help you tremendously to have influence on your people. Uh, for you that have children, that are married, that have relationships, if you're a human being and you're talking to other people, this question is going to help you connect and build rapport with others in a new way because you're going to understand how to speak to them. And when, you, when I ask you this question, when I say the question right now, I want you to think, how do you make decisions? Understand yourself first. Understand what this will do to you. Salespeople, this is gonna help increase your business tremendously if you use it right, if you use it tactfully, and it's a non-threatening question. So it's a question you can ask anybody. They're gonna actually feel that you are taking interest in them by asking this question. The question is, when making decisions, does it have to sound good? Does it have to look good? Does it have to feel good? Or does it have to make sense? So now this person says, or maybe when I ask you the question, you might say, hmm, that's interesting. My primary decision-making drive is it has to look good. So if it has to look good, I would say to you, so when you're making a decision, if it doesn't sound good and it doesn't feel good and it doesn't make sense, but it looks good, that means that you most likely would do it. Most likely you would say yes, or you can ask the other way. So if it doesn't feel good, if that person is feel, but it looks good, sounds good and makes sense, but it doesn't feel good, you won't do it. Most likely they'll say no. What you will find is some people will tell you all four of them. But the truth of the matter is that we all have a primary. And if you pay attention to their vocabulary, the lingo, to the linguistics, pay attention to what they're saying to you, they'll give it away. For instance, myself, when speaking, I often say when communicating to others, this makes sense. And it wasn't until I understood this stuff that I understood what I was doing because that's my primary decision driver, making sense. So I'll give you an example. You're trying to influence somebody to buy this phone and their primary drive is feel. Well, how do I make this person feel this phone? So what I will do is I would say something like, hey, Joanne, why don't you take hold this phone? How does it feel to you? Look at the features. How does that feel to you? Look at this program. How does that feel to you? Would you put it in your pocket, Joanne? Would you put it in your purse? How does that feel? I'm talking right to her. I'm talking right to her subconscious. 